Hello everyone, Gerok here. I'm just sharing uh, today's flight experience with the Redbird repeater system. It was a nice day here in Ohio, so we uh, took it out for a fly. Uh, starting off, I'm down on the riverbank, down below the riverbank as you can see. If you look way ahead, you'll see the Honda Silver SUV with the uh, repeater system on top of the car pointing down this way. So I take the drone down, start the video there, then pop up out of the riverbank, go on through the field, and you'll start to see the car move here shortly. Again, we thought this might be a little proof of concept of uh, why it's important to separate your control point and radio uplink point. That is, the final radio transmitters, repeaters, out of your physical possession of your hands. Get them on top of the car or elsewhere. So maybe the rest of the video will demonstrate what that does. Uh, this is my cousin's farm. They recently sold this part. Some operator came in here and stripped all the topsoil off. I don't know what they're going to do with it afterwards. So anyway, I'm starting to speed up the video so we don't spend a lot of time here. So it starts to get a little jerky. But now even from the riverbank, going on down the road, following, uh, the repeater system is actually capable of having a range much further than anything you'll see in this video. I'd say uh, a mile away, you know, but your battery is going to run out, so you've got to watch about your distances. So range is plenty. Uh, you know, if you're inside the car, your radio energy is going to be all bounced around and confused. So that's why it's important to get your transmitters up on top of the vehicle. So we're done here with this particular one. You can see us inside, the repeaters on top, the, the Wi-Fi repeater and the Redbird repeater, which makes a total repeating solution for the Phantom 2 Vision. Uh, the Phantom 3 standard will actually be one single box, not two. Uh, that one's coming shortly. So this demo one is about over. And we'll show you another flight environment we did today. I had three different drivers today, so I just kind of broke it up. Each let them drive my car there, or Sally's car. So here I am having fun. And uh, this is the upper box will be the stretch version for the Phantom 3 standard. And here is the Wi-Fi module. It's in the standards controller that's put inside of here in it so that it's uh, co-located with the 5.8. This is the neighborhood I grew up in. The big white house is uh, where I grew up. And uh, there's a farming field. That, tr that hill is actually taller than it looks. You know how the camera is on the Phantom 3 Vision, a little bit of fisheye. So here you can see, hey, there's that horse. He sees, uh, he must have heard the drone. He's trotting over towards it. I should have swooped down and said hello to him, but uh, I had a flight plan to follow. So now up on top of the hill, Sally's driving the car, and she's going to intercept up there at the curve of the road. And, uh, yeah, now you can see her. Actually, I, I did a much more in this flight, but I just took this one little piece and left the rest out. So I fly just over top the power pole, catch back up with the car. If you look closely, you can see the repeater system suction mounted to the top of the vehicle. And um, there we are. So we're, now we're off to the next one. And this is uh, out on a country road. Now my friend Andrew is driving. There's the repeater system. Again, that's, I'm flying a Phantom 2 Vision in this one. So it has the DTI Wi-Fi repeater and the Redbird 5.8 repeater. Both make the total repeating solution, as mentioned before. So now I get in the car and we uh, just go ahead and speed the video up. And this is a three mile run here. So I was just having a lot of fun on the country road. You know, I could call out vehicles ahead uh, and he would call out certain landmarks just to give me a mental cue to keep the choreography on target best as I could, you know. So being sped up, it looks a little jerky, but uh, it gives you the idea of what uh, this concept can do. That is separating the control radios from uh, the radio point from the control point. You know, all along we've been holding both in our hands. Well, there's no need for that, and uh, this is what it empowers to happen. So some of you may say, well, the new Phantom 3 standard has follow me mode, but it can't handle these kind of distances. 
and plus the distance as shown could be much further away from the vehicle. So we're now coming into the CAR-T farming complex as our end point, which was just slightly over three miles from the takeoff point. This one was a lot of fun to do. It was actually a really relaxing flight, believe it or not. And uh, so now we're off to the final demo. I was about a half mile away and just brought it in toward the car. Just to show you that distance, you know, is maximized by getting the transmitters outside of the vehicle. This is the local flying club in Southern Ohio. But a bunch of guys, they're uh, out here enjoying today. And um, that's it. This is the, the repeaters mounted on a second drone. I call it a repeater drone. And you stick them up in the air as flying as a pair and let it set. And uh, your distances there are tremendous. So thanks for watching.